I'm not really of a type of learning type of person. Well, I do work, but I'm not like a fan of it though. In my first meeting, I was sitting in and, uh, you know, I'm hearing all these different things about this kid. I mean, can't read, uh, you know, he's bad at math. Um, he gets angry all the time. And I've never met the kid, but I already have this idea that's, you know, been embedded into my brain. And so my, my job is really to, to, one, take that label where there's no label. I'm looking at you as a human being, and I'm going to build a relationship with you based on from the initial meeting that we have to whatever experiences that we have. Then I'm going to take into account what they said, you know, if there's something emotional, um, something with the family, definitely take that into account. For like the first couple of weeks, there was a lot of anger issues. Um, and I had to learn that he wasn't really used to a male figure. One, just, just being present. To hear about this kid, all the things that he's overcome already. And it was one of those things where you need to take a step back. The first thing I do, is I let the, the kid know I expect something of you because you're capable. Initially, I, 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 don't, I do not like to use sports. I'm a former basketball player, and I try my hardest to, to find relevance in any other way possible. But uh, for him, it, he, he's a football player, and I heard that he was a really good football player. I just said, you know what, I'm going to take football even further, and I'm going to apply it to what we're doing in math. The minute I use football, he ran with it. But then it was just a matter of telling him that using football in a way to where, you know, you can take some of those principles and use them off the field. If I try as hard as I do in football, I can do it in school. So I try to make school like football, where I try to do my work and make it like how I can memorize the plays, how I can memorize my work. And I try my best to do that where I, when I go higher and I have a test or something, and I try to go 100% all the time. Language arts is a subject that I like doing. I didn't like doing it at first, but once Mr. Washington came, he kind of actually got me to start liking it, and that's one of my greater classes out of all of them. There's Washington, Fields, sometimes Mr. Basie, um, Mr. Jeremy, Mr. Dean, and the old principal, Ms. Scarlett. They kept me on track, and they tried their best to keep me out of trouble. Five principles that I use to, to try to develop a relationship. Uh, accountability. Hold yourself to what you're supposed to be doing. Expectations. Follow the instructions that the teacher gives you. And don't, and don't do what you want to do, do what you have to do. Patience. Be patient because everything can't happen all at once. Love. Love the people around you. Consistency. Being consistent with your work. And like keep on doing it and doing it. I have anger issues, so when I first came here, any little thing would set me off, and I was never doing work in class, but they would always pull me out, and they would try to try their best to have me do work or try to keep me away from the kids that would try to get me mad. And it really helped me to where I am now, where I can actually be around those kids and not get mad and actually do work in my own classes. I feel supported because the principal gave me a, a second chance and without it really, I don't know where I would be right now.